So this basically manages all the resources which are directed towards the story, uh, captures all the information which was being accumulated and so forth. And the key point here is that the journalists basically do not want to do manual tagging at this stage in the story. They're far too busy developing the story. But also another point is that because any tagging we do here is internal, it doesn't need the same careful editorial control that we need when we actually publish content. So it's an ideal uh, application for automated tagging. We can tolerate a certain number of errors, basically. Uh, down in the box on the bottom right, you can see the tags which have been extracted from this particular story. And they have a number of potential users which are, are still being developed. Um, one of these is that it's very difficult to get a, uh, a good idea, a global view of all the activities in the newsroom and all the stories which are being developed in this wolf tech system. Um, so what you can do with the tags is a statistical analysis and you can break down the stories and show how much of the newsroom resources are being de dedicated to particular stories. And journalists can also see if other staff are working on closely related stories or overlapping stories, and therefore it sort of facilitates collaboration as well. So the tags have a, a number of potential users which we're still developing, but it's a really exciting development to use automated tagging in, in, this, in this dynamic system. That's all I wanted to, to show you today, but I thought I'd put up a list of alternative tagging systems that are out there for people who haven't got the resources to develop their own. Uh, there's a system called DBpedia Spotlight, which is very similar to Mango. It's a mentions tagger, and it's also related to DBpedia and trained using Wikipedia content. So it's very similar to the Mango approach. And the good thing about it is it's open source and there are models available for many different languages. So it's really quite a um, useful piece of uh, software. There's also a system called Tagmatic, which is a commercial system developed by a British company, which is very similar to Starfruit. Uh, if you do a lot of manual tagging in your business uh, and you can uh, provide that to Tagmatic, it can be used to train their system and adapt it to your, uh, your content and your application. So those are very, very similar to the way Starfruit works. And then finally, all the big cloud companies have um, NLP um, services, which include tagging for text. So Amazon Comprehend, Google Natural Language and so forth. I've only had a quick look, look at all these systems here, um, so I can't make any recommendations and I've probably missed out a lot of competing products. So this is the usual disclaimer, but basically they all do a reasonable job as far as I can see of tagging text. Um, so they're really useful. So thank you for listening. That's all I wanted to say. So I guess that leaves time for questions if anybody has any.